Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here with Dental L. So if you're one of those people who does not floss every day and you're sick of going to the dentist being lectured about not flossing every day and that you really should, you know you should, you know it's not hard, but it still kind of is, right? I mean, taking that little string, trying to get in there um, once a day isn't easy because it's not in your habit to do so. I am a dental hygienist and yes, I floss every day. Yes, I do. But I also see what happens every day when people don't floss. But I'm about to change things for you because if you're that person who does not floss every day and you don't plan to change that, I have some other alternatives for you that is almost as good as using the floss. So floss is still number one because you can reach in there properly. It doesn't take long, but I know it's hard. It's still number one. But let me tell you other things that you can do that your dental hygienist might not even notice or realize that, oh, they're not flossing every day because it, it will look like you are. So let me talk about that a little bit. So if you don't floss every day, what you need to really focus on is making sure to brush twice a day using the right toothbrush. I will always say an electric toothbrush is still the best thing to use because it does all of the work for you. You do not have to push hard and it just does all the work for you. And that's the hardest thing with toothbrushing is that even if you're brushing, you might not be doing it properly. But if you're not using an electric toothbrush, I like these ones, uh, Cura Prox, because they are angled in such a way that when you're brushing with them, it just helps to get into the, um, the gum line a little bit more. And it does make your teeth feel extremely clean. And I can say this because I have been using an electric toothbrush since I first started in the dental profession about 15 years ago. And I was given a sample at a dental convention in May, didn't think too much of it, but I just tried it. Um, and I was very impressed that it made my teeth feel as clean as it did. No other manual toothbrush has been able to do that for me. So the right toothbrush makes a big difference. If you're not going to floss every day, you should at least see your dental hygienist more often. If you don't want to see us more often, start to floss every day. But if you don't want to floss every day, then come to see us more often. But this is different for everybody. If you see your dental hygienist and she or he tells you that the gums are bleeding a lot, you will likely need to see us every three months. And that's because we can get underneath the gum line with our instruments. It will not hurt, but we do have to get under there for you to clean everything off. Because that bacteria, um, to make a long story short, but that bacteria that causes the gums to bleed and become inflamed comes back every three months. So if you're seeing us every six months, by the time we see you, the gums are going to be bleeding like crazy. Whereas if it's every three months, we can at least help to maintain that for you. So in all, you don't lose your teeth because if the gums become worse, if they become more inflamed, the end of the story is you can lose your teeth. Minimum, the gums become sore and you don't want that. Um, gingivitis, um, gum disease happens quickly, but it can be maintained and it can get better with your dental hygienist help, so ask us. Another thing to do is to use a mouth rinse, everybody. Use a mouth rinse. I'm not just talking about simply Listerine. I'm talking about a mouth rinse with no alcohol in it because alcohol will dry out the tissues, often making things worse, okay? Just so you know. And you need a mouthwash with xylitol in it. So you see on the bottom here, 10% xylitol. Look for one that contains xylitol. It doesn't have to be this company, um, but look for one that contains xylitol in it because xylitol helps to stop that bacteria from forming in the first place. It actually neutralizes the pH in our mouth. So that bacteria that's causing the gums to become irritated and causing the gums to bleed will be a lot less. So there you go. How easy is that? Use a mouth rinse. Brush twice a day, use a mouth rinse and see your dental hygienist more often. We might might not notice that you're not able to use the floss every day, okay? Um, so see, there are other things that you can do that you don't necessarily have to floss. 
But to, to just take it a little step further, if you're getting a lot of cavities in between the teeth, that's a little bit different because yes, it's still best to use the floss, but even if you're not, take it a step further and you will need to use a different type of toothpaste. So remember how in the mouthwash, I talked about using it with xylitol in it. You need a toothpaste with xylitol in it, okay? So we have one for kids. Again, you guys, it doesn't have to be these companies, but just look for one that contains xylitol. With a child um, under the age of six, if they can't spit out the toothpaste, a fluoride toothpaste is still best, but if they're six years old or under and can't spit, don't give them one because then they will just eat the fluoride, they'll get sick, they won't be happy, right? So xylitol is perfect. This one here has xylitol in it, and if they swallow it, they won't get sick. For adults, it's a better idea to use a little bit of both. So xylitol, and um, it, it's good to use the, uh, use the fluoride too, but you don't have to. As long as you're able to get the fluoride applied topically at the dental office, that is almost the same thing. But a toothpaste with xylitol in it stops that cavity causing bacteria to form in the first place and then come to your dental hygienist at least every six months to get the topical on also, okay? That will help to seal up those teeth and keep them as strong as possible so you will not get any more cavities. So if you guys have questions, let me know because this has probably changed things for you. Yes, I'm that dental hygienist that is actually saying you don't need to floss. I've seen what happens. I've been doing my own research over the past five months using a toothpaste and a rinse with xylitol, but consistently twice a day is key. I don't necessarily notice the difference of patients who floss and patients who don't. Yes, I said it. So you don't need to floss, but talk to me um, about your oral hygiene condition and I can come up with a personalized plan for you to have the best teeth, the best mouth that you ever have. It's never too late to start, okay? Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.